This happened when Zimbabwe president called me for a position. This will happen actually. This is a build up. This is a story, a whole story. Let's watch what Prophet Ibrahim just said about uh, Zimbabwean president, you know, Manangagwa, right? Manangagwa, Zimbabwe. Uh, how the whole story went. Let's watch this. Let's go. In my, I was busy in the studio preaching to you all, all right? And as I was ministering, Pastor Bevan was there, a lot of other people were there. And as I was ministering, I saw my phone ring. And it's a video call. I answered the call. I'm busy preaching, and it's the president of Zimbabwe. Listen to me. I'd never spoken to him in my life, not even a day. I'm seeing him there, and I'm preaching. So I tell people, can you put that information for that book? I just changed the whole sermon. Put that information. As the information was happening, you all thought was... I was still standing behind the pulpit. No, I went to the ah. other room. Yeah. And I said, I want you in Zimbabwe immediately. That's right. That's right. Huh? For That's right. what? We have an appointment for you. That's right. Now, hear this now. Oh, you were there? Yeah. That's right. Now, imagine this is the first time to see this man. I'd never met him, never spoken to him. Zero. The moment you are assigned and you are appointed an ambassador, you are removed or delivered from the system. Now, you're not hearing me. Maybe you do not understand this. An ambassador is not a person. It's an embodiment of a country. Oh, God. When you walk, heaven is walking. When you talk, heaven is talking. That's why the Bible says, be when you speak. Speak as though they are the oracles of God. Oracles. Speak as if your speech is a prophecy. If I say good morning, it's a prophetic word. Good morning. That's why the Bible says you shall be judged for every word you shall speak. Why? Because an ambassador is an embodiment of a country. Whatever word you speak is heaven that spoke it. So some of you are causing heaven to speak curses. I knew you missed this, so I'll fly a little bit. Let's hear. One, two, three, let's read it again. Now what? Now then. Now, uh, uh, please, go verse number 19, because they're not getting it. Let's read it from there. One, two, three. Now then, after I said this, this is the logizomai, the conclusion. Aya. Tell your neighbor, say the, the logizomai. The conclusion. The complete sum of it. Now, I want you to use this one. This one is brilliant. Tell your neighbor, say this is the ecolos. Come on now. If you're not from this country, you'll be like, what? Just say. This is equals two. Now then, we are what? We are ambassadors for Christ. Now, that means the moment you understand you're an ambassador, not for this church, not for Christianity, but for heaven itself, that means, you see, see the moment I was told by the president, you are now an ambassador, I stood there wondering what, then I was with my people here. Do you understand? I was with my people here. As I stood with these people, he made jokes with these guys. And he said, you and you and you and you and you. When you get to the airport there, you will have to queue this one. When he gets to the airport and when I get to the airport, we just walk. We just walk. <laughs> Trust me, he's a humorous man. So imagine immediately, I don't know about how to walk, you know, the airport and, 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 and this guy's like, no, you are now, this one just walks. Hey. Come on. That's right. And they have to follow the bags later. That's right. Come on. But a normal citizen, 
as much as he's respected, is now different from, from this one. This one is just... What has changed? The title. And one thing about the title of an ambassador, no one can take it from you. No, no, no. I hear you. I hear you. You can hear opposers say, oh, uh, this ambassador has been fired. Ambassador doesn't get fired. No. No, no. 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 Ambassador can be removed from a such system like you were ambassador of Zimbabwe to Namibia. Now you are no longer an ambassador of Zimbabwe to Namibia, but you're not an ex-ambassador. You are an ambassador. You just don't have a territory where they say, there it is. Check everyone who has ever been an ambassador. They are still called ambassador this, this. That means one thing. Your position in God cannot be taken. You are, you are not hearing me. You are missing this one. I said you are missing that one. Now, immediately a man is called an ambassador. A woman is called an ambassador. What happens is you become the responsibility of the state. That means an ambassador does not have bills. No. You, you are missing that. I'm, it's going to be very short, but I can see you missing it. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, sir. Take it Take it You're doing good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. So an ambassador does not have a position where they say, I have a bill. Why? They have become a property of the state they belong to. Do you understand that an embassy is the only location that can raise a flag of their own country in someone else's country? I, I knew, I thought these were the learned ones, but I got confused a little bit. They raise the flag of their own country in someone else's country. Imagine, imagine the, the audacity of an embassy. Have you ever been denied a visa? Huh? How many have ever been denied a visa? Don't worry, raise your hand. What that means is you went from your own country, Zimbabwe. You walked into an American embassy in Zimbabwe. And a white man sitting behind the desk says, you can't come to my country. Ah, while is you in my country? So basically this is what Prophet Ibe Angel said about uh, President Mnangagwa. This is what Mnangagwa basically to Prophet Ibe Angel, you know. What it means to be an ambassador. When you become an ambassador, you have veto power. You have no veto power, but then you have a lot of, you know, opportunities. You get it. You have a lot of opportunities. And Prophet Ibe Angel said, um, you know, Mnangagwa told him that um, <laughs> you know, when he gets to the airport, he can just walk past without the, you know, immigration officers checking in. And a whole lot of things. So, the builder for Prophet of Angel becoming an ambassador and blah, blah, blah. He just gave it all out in this particular sermon. And I think you have been blessed to have watched these things right now because myself watching this, I have not, no, I didn't know about a lot of information that he said, but I just pick all of them right in the sermon. And guys, that's what um, Nagagwa told Prophet by Angel and what Prophet by Angel, you know, said about the ambassadorial position. My name is Charanis. I love to break down gospel messages like this. Wow.